This tutorial is to show you how to access Think Central for your student at home. So in the URL, we're going to start with typing in the website, thinkcentral.com. And we're going to choose Mathematics from the menu on the left-hand side. And on the bottom row, we want to choose Math Expressions Common Core. Okay, and on this screen, we need to make sure we have the right country and the state. If you need to change it, here's the drop-down arrow. Choose the right state. The district is Jefferson County District R1. Uh, you'll see there are uh, four or five different choices here. Make sure that you choose the top one. Jefferson County School District R1 Golden 80401. Then choose the school from the next drop-down menu. And if any of these fields don't populate for you, uh, just refresh your browser and try it again. Sometimes the server is a little bit slow. Here's Green Gables. If you're going to use the same computer to access it, you can click Remember My School, and then you shouldn't have to fill those in every time you go into Think Central. Your student's username is their ID number. And the password for all the students is the word THINK. And then click Login. And now your student is ready to begin work on Think Central. So under Things to Do, these are assignments that the teacher has created for them. Uh, right now, the student um, only has Sword to Success available to them. They can go into My Library and find a copy of the student activity book. There's math eye tools. These are just tools that like uh, virtual manipulatives that kids could use to help them with their homework assignments. And mega math are some math skills that your kids can practice at home. And my scores will show you any tests that they have taken using Think Central um, will show up in the my scores. And then when they're finished, we'll just click log out. And that's all there is to it. Feel free to give me a call or send me an email um, if you have any questions.